No. No. There are mechanics everywhere spinning in their grave. <laughs> well, we're somewhat committed now. It's like my old man used to change his oil filters by driving a screwdriver. Oh, and then turning them. And turning them off. That's fine, as long as you've got the right fill to put back on. Right. Can you see what's going to be happening here? Time for a new belt. My, uh, myself and John, or John and I, I brought the wagon up here originally to look at this because um, we're going to sort of try and put some rubber skirts on it or something in there to stop all the food spilling off the side. This has come off of his groove somewhat and if we take it off we'll probably never get it back on. That one. No. 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 He's uh, he served his time. He's seen several repairs. Yeah. I'll poke that one. See he's bent over there? Yep. Out through that. So this has there. all been <laughs> this has all been slackened off anyway. Yeah, he's as slack as he's gonna go. Yes. So hopefully that's enough. That one's had a temporary repair once before. I'm gonna change your mind. You change your mind? Yeah. Coming back ways? Well, I tried to try to push on the end of that one and he sheared off. Ah. So yes, originally we were gonna just try and get underneath that roller that's currently on there and clean out all the rubbish that's gotten under there. The belt isn't running true, it's running to one side, which is why it's a load of silage and muck and stuff has got in underneath. And then we got looking at it and we thought if we take it off, it's not gonna go back on. So um, the new one is going on. Anyway, come over to my tractor here. I have my own set of pliers. <laughs> pliers come in very handy for changing things like power shafts around if you wanna go onto a 21 spline, take off the circlips, uh, and for cutting bits of wire if you get hanged up and stuff, and various things. So that is why I carry my own set of pliers. They're only a tenner off Amazon or something, only cheap ones, but um, carry my own in the tractor. It's even got a cutting disc on it, look. God. <laughs> it was meant to be. Right, so John is taking this right off now. So when you want to tension it up, use these bolts you have to wind this round so he's looking the right way. Then they thread into there and it pulls it in and out. That's how you set your tension. So this is a slack. These all droopy underneath. Slack as you can make it now. And there's a rod that goes down the middle of here between the two sets of teeth. That's what holds the belt together. Um, so that's what we're trying to get out, but it's snapped a couple of times whilst we're trying to get it out. Yeah, there's a set of new teeth. You put the two lots of teeth together, put the rod down through. You can see this has had a repair done at some point. Um, but we got that back in the middle now, because he was running off centre. You can see where he's been running. And he's back, back along where he should be. Makes him easier to push and pull. So yeah, we need to get that guy out in there. For some reason, um, the, other, the other end of that one was an 18. Right. Which I cut off. Yes. And the other end of this one was obviously a 19. No. Of the end of the ring spanner. And the other... But he was that shape? Yeah, so he wasn't doing anything good. No, he was doing absolute bugger all. So he I made, made a good 19. Two good ones out of one. Yeah. <laughs> there are mechanics everywhere spinning in their grave. <laughs> because we're struggling to get this pin out. Yes, it holds all there. that in. But if you look... Oh, it's worn notches into it. worn them. notches into it, so that he probably sat in those tiny little notches and not letting himself out. Yeah. And looking at that, Josh, he wouldn't have lasted much longer yeah. without him going bang. Probably on a Sunday. On a Sunday, yeah. always a Sunday. We have repaired this once on a Sunday. We have. Yeah. Me and Phil, wasn't it? Yeah, we sent him to holes with it for some yeah. parts, didn't we? So yeah, mm. cut out job I think. Yeah. Onwards. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. There oh. you go. That was creating all the dimples on your roller. Look at all that rubbish. I don't know if the camera picked it up. John just said, what if this new belt here? <laughs> isn't the right one. But we're somewhat committed now. It's like my old man used to change his oil filters by driving a screwdriver. Through. Oh, and then turning them. And turning them off. That's fine, as long as you've got the right film to put back on. Hang on. Oh. 
Oh yeah. There you are, that is what a fee conveyor looks like without the belt on. We'll give it's that a blue. Yeah, yes. Clean all this up a minute once it's off. We've been joined by management now. Yeah, these boys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to go and do something else because <laughs> they've created a job for themselves here. Anyway, view busy with Dr. Phil. Click like, subscribe, or whatever this stuff is you're meant to do with it. He needs 10 more subscribers to get to a thousand. Yes. Then he starts getting paid. And then he gets, yeah, then he, yeah, he'll be leaving yeah, possibly. then. I'll, give, I'll do the job you've told me to do, John. I love that. He's my manager, yet he does what we ask him to. He knows his place. <laughs> You got a rat! Where did you find that one? Oh, he looks pretty dead. See? Hold on. I'm gonna go with my shoulder. Where's the um. The rod? You got him? Yeah, is he in it? Is he in your end? No, he's here. I got him. You got him? It's not the time to be worrying about things like that. <laughs> Down. You have got the rod, have you? Yeah, just a there on oh, the grinder. So that is all that holds the two half of the belts together. Well, the, yeah, the two ends of the belt. Holds, there you go. You've got to somehow feed it in. You've got to sort of line it up as you go. Right. Look at that, look. New rod in. The belt fits, which is good. Can you see that? It's all laid down flat because he's yeah. in the recess. Whereas ours was all roofed up because he was More went on top. Hello, dog. There it's gone. Now, I think if you've got a belt only travels one way. Yes. You bend them. The direction of the direction so that the back is going like that. Yeah, it's the opposite way. Yeah. I mean, we do feed majority of the time that way. Yeah. So I'll bend them all. So you bend them this way. Well, if he does bend them. Well, I'm quite interested to see what does actually happen. Yes. <laughs> right, tension him up then. Nah, if you're as easy, I reckon. Just look here, running like that. Yeah, you want to go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, if you fire him up. That's got to turn. No, actually, I'll put those back in. Before yeah. Too far away. One side on. Apply the same theory to this side. There. Beauty. It's got him. Cool. Cool, I think. Wind him on a bit. I thought, quite oh, he feels tight. <laughs> but there's a metal plate on there. There is a metal plate on there. <laughs> we do feel quite tight. Are the they way? about the same? Because if we... Uh, they need to be about the same, otherwise they... The tip of the bolt is just through the casket. Yeah. Through the roller. We've got about one thread, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pro yeah, probably about the same. That's all right. So then do we tighten that? No, we run them up. You run them up. Because if, if there's some discrepancy in the belt and he pulls one side... Oh, I see. Well right, then. You have to go tight one side than the other. Why not? Turn you off before we get copyright strike. That is the bed in gear. Slow as he goes. And he's turning. Speed him up. Don't get too close. So he's wobbling in and out. Yeah, but I don't think, I think that's the way, what he'll do all the time. I don't think he's getting... Is that just because the thing might not be cut straight? Potentially. It's probably more like our... He's on a bit of an angle. See that? It's probably I reckon he's there, John. How to change a trailer conveyor belt. 
101. The first thing to do, change on the right size before you cut the old one yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, we did that wrong. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We were completely balls to the wall. Let's cut this one off and then see if our new one fits. We got a bit lucky there. Man from Del Monte says, turn him off. I can only call that a raving success. Oh. So far. Do a couple loads with it, then yeah. you can say it's... When it falls off in a minute, when we feed the sheep. Yeah. Look at that lovely join there. Cool. Right, I'm just going to get in and give this thing a sweep out whilst we're up by the workshop. The key is out of the tractor. Don't worry, there's no way anyone can mince me up taking the key out of the ignition. And John knows I'm in here as well, so it's all safe. Inside of a feeder wagon, if anyone's never seen one. Got these blades that cut up the hay and everything. These were new on this year. There are spaces on here that you can put more on. I don't know whether we do that at some point or not, but anyway. We've also got magnets here on the back of the rotors. So you can see any bits of metal that end up in this. So there's loads of staples, look, nails. All sorts of stuff. We can clear it all out and take it away, but there's not enough on there to warrant taking off. I thought whilst we're here, I'd get in it and sweep it all out. So it's clean. Right, I've brushed most of the stuff out here. I'm not gonna give it a proper clean because it's not a lot of point. We're gonna chuck silage in it in a minute. Yeah, knives are all looking in good order. What have you found? I found a fair bit of stuff. Where was that? Well, a lot of it just gets hung up in the bars. Oh, right. so bars in here to stop it overflowing. But brush looks pretty good. Yeah, the brush has seen better days. Yeah. Um, What's on the magnet? Uh, there's just a few nails and staples, but to be honest, last time I pulled them off, I lost a few of them in here, so oh, right. they ping off. Oh, you want this to come out and be chucked out? Yeah, well, you can chuck it on the floor, go and chuck it in the midden from here from the belt. Well, has it got bits of metal in it? No, 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 I've not taken anything off the magnet. Oh, if you leave on the bed, belt then, because what's what I'm going to brush up down here and add. You should. Oh, okay. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right, anyway, yeah, I'm, com got... I'm coming out. Right, guys, it is now the next morning. We did have a bit of snow overnight, but it's sort of all melted. Still a little bit there on the floor. Um, I'm here with the wagon. So I'm glad to report the new belt has performed flawlessly this morning. It's done exactly what we needed it to. Hopefully that will last as long as the other one did. Um, we have kept the other one as a spare if we ever need it. One thing I didn't show you yesterday because we were, sort of took three of us to do it. Um, I don't think I mentioned it on camera at all was we had to readjust this. So you can see this belt doesn't run true. Uh, we had a go at adjusting it, but um, Craig says it never has done since it's been on there. You can adjust it all you want and it will still just run this way from when the silage hits it. Because um, this elevator was actually made by Craig and another local mechanic. Um, to fit this, it's not a it's not a triolet thing. So one thing we did yesterday was see these bars here on the side. They've got a little um, piece of metal bar there that they're supposed to sit behind. So this one's currently sat on top. So that this bar here that I'm uh, touching should be in behind where my finger is there, and that keeps that part of the feeder square. Um, and I think because this side gets caught in the side like here, it sort of pushes it up and off and out of alignment. So we spent a little bit of time yesterday getting that back in the right place. But it seems to have popped out again already, which is a bit annoying. Um, I think, like I say, just because of the uh, silage, it gets caught in there. But anyway, I finished feeding up for this morning for the time being. I need some silage that is on the other farm at Rowden back here to feed some sheep. So Dr. Phil was getting me that. One other thing that happened yesterday was we had a new delivery of sugar beet from Feedco. So there's another 18 tons in there, which will keep us going for uh, a very long time. Hopefully we've still got a fair pile of distillers grains. That'll be the next thing we need to order. Um, but we've got enough there for the time being. But thank you for watching this video. It was a bit of a ad hoc one. We didn't realize we were gonna tear the belt off the machine yesterday when we started, but um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, then please do subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. There's loads of links down in the description for all my other socials if you want to check them out, as well as merchandise um, and where I got all my camera gear, if anyone's interested in that. So you can check all that out. And I'll see you guys on another video very soon. Cheerio.
Yeah.